It's time for evolution. Welcome to the Gona Art Family. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys five tips on improving your drawings. Five personal tips. And so, for the first tip, it will, the first personal tip is to make a comic. And now, why would you make a comic? So, when you're making a comic, for every single page, you're you're giving yourself an opportunity to draw a character or a scene from multiple different angles and you're constantly drawing the same character and this method is training yourself to draw consistently and at, and at the same time since it'll be your own comic you'll be motivated to continue to draw and so as you become motivated to continue to draw page by page you want to make sure to challenge yourself in every single page that you're drawing. So by challenging yourself, I mean drawing a particular angle or drawing a particular uh, a particular background, you know? Just challenge yourself every single page. Find some way you can challenge yourself for every single page while you're drawing the comic. And I guarantee you after you've done uh, 30 to, to 40 uh, different pages and you're and you've challenged yourself in that comic you'll see a a, a great improvement coming from you the the second personal tip is studying anatomy and gesture drawing in detail so what I mean by studying anatomy and gesture drawing in detail is that sure you can know anatomy but your figure can look stiff hence you need gesture you know and you can also know gesture, but you may not know like uh, once you're doing the gesture, uh, it'll be a lot. Your drawing will be improved even further if you have anatomy to back that up with the gesture, you know. So master or understand both anatomy and gesture as you're drawing. The anatomy is the, the technical knowledge of the human body and the gesture is more so the emotional knowledge of the of the uh, of the human body you know and gesture drawing is also key to helping a uh, a, a drawer or an artist uh, build speed whenever they're drawing so whenever you're doing gesture drawing you want to look into the axis the axis of the human body how it's tilting look at the the gesture line the center line uh, and also look look closely as to the human body making the s curve or the c curve mainly and instead of thinking about the s curve of the human body because an s can only go one way i like to think of the an s curve as uh similar to the yin yang symbol or in other words the the line of balance what, what they call it. And the line of balance is usually seen in the human body whenever it's doing a a turn or whenever there's some kind of muscle muscle pressure going on when the body is turning you you can always almost you can almost always spot an s curve going on and if you don't understand what i'm talking about i'd recommend to check out a youtuber called pro pro and look at his gesture drawing tutorial and you'll have an understanding as to what I'm talking about and so for the third personal tip is you can train your muscle memory to switch styles or adapt styles and so when you're first beginning and you want some kind of reference point I'd recommend to look at an artist that you admire or that you'd like to you know draw and like understand from like I'd recommend to uh, uh, study an artist that's a uh, that's more into a semi realism which is close to realism so you'll have a reference point because as you're studying realism from I guess other other to, uh, other youtubers you can also have semi realism which is like a dumbed down version of realism but you'll have an understanding of it more best of the simple but you have a, a, a an understanding of the uh, the semi realism uh, a lot more better if you study realism so you can study uh, artists, if you're doing manga, you can study artists like the creative One Punch Man, or you can do uh, uh, do a Naruto style. Or if you're if you're into uh, comics, you can look into uh, various different uh, 
comic, Marvel comic style, which is close to realism. You know, you can look at either of these uh, these uh, uh, styles of semi-realism so that you can have, you can adopt your own style of semi-realism. So study one artist at a time, try to see what they do, and then adapt it to your own personal, uh, your own personal style of semi-realism after you've adjusted and gotten used to it. So a experienced artist is able to adapt various, various different art styles. They may not know it from muscle memory because it isn't trained in them, but they're able to adapt various different art styles. You know, and if you want to change an art style, you know, just keep drawing in that art style so that you have that muscle memory to change it, you know. But then, but yeah, experienced artists, they can adapt any art style from if they're just simply looking at something from observation. So remember, remember that uh, art style isn't some uh, metaphysical concept that a person is born with per se. And once an experienced artist is great in their observational skills, they can easily switch and manipulate styles to their to their liking. The fourth personal tip is self-improvement and artistic self-improvement. So what I mean by self-improvement and artistic self-improvement is to, you know, heal from all of your artistic uh, insecurities that you have in you, you know. I, I do have like tutorials. This channel is based on like how to like get rid of uh, or heal from uh, creative mental blockages. So I have videos on how to build up your confidence in, in art, how to build up your, your self esteem. Also have videos how to improve at drawing the emotional approach. And I have videos on how to overcome your fear of inking. If you have a fear of inking, so I have a video on that as well on the channel. And I have various other videos like that. You can uh, check out like procrastination and, and you know, the list goes on and on. You can check out, you can check out those videos in the playlist. But I feel that uh, self-improvement and uh, just healing from our uh, insecurities when it comes to art can make a big difference on how fast we improve. If we are fearless and we're open, you know, like back when, when we were children, we were fearless, we were open, we were, we were event, adventurous, you know, if we if we can get back to that state of, you know, accepting our mistakes that which make us better because a master has made a lot of mistakes, you know, if we can just, you know, come to accept, accept this and like just get into the flow of drawing, you know, without any any blockages without any uh, self-hate going on we can improve at a, a very fast rate so our mental and emotional state when it comes to drawing is just as important as the physical practice and so the last tip the, the, the last fifth personal tip is to hang around go-getters or people that get shit done you know and so what I mean by that is you are the there's a saying that you're the uh, the five closest people that you hang around. You become the five closest people that you hang around. So hang around the doers. Hang around the people that are actually doing the work and you see the improvement happening within them. You know, hang around the people that, that do the studies. They don't complain, but they're constantly learning, you know. And so oftentimes, uh, there's when, when we are faced with uh, people with people who, who admit that kind of vibe that, that kind of vibe uh it can either go two ways we, uh the artist can either push that that person away or they can learn from that person so the pushing the person away can be due to a personal insecurity that they may have and hence they may attract other artists that aren't on that wavelength of improvement and when they attract other artists that that aren't on that wavelength, wavelength of improvement, it becomes a lot more difficult because there may be some negativity when it comes to art. There may be some, uh, a, a lot of different things that may come and, you know, implant in their mind. Like so-and-so is hard, drawing backgrounds is hard or drawing hands is, is difficult. Just draw, just improve. Don't think about how difficult or how easy something is. Just, just do it, 
you know just so for any video gamers out there if you're familiar with uh, the, the concept of the final boss so we know that the final boss is hard we may get our ass kick on the first round however we know that it's hard and so on the second round we are in the zone we're not focused on rather something as hard or easy we're just so in the zone you know we're, we're focused we're determined we're, we're having fun with it too you know we're just so in the zone that the concept of, of hard and easy is just irrelevant we're just getting shit done you know we're, we're just focused mistakes will be made but we just get back up and we do it we're just so in the zone and so when we when we are in the zone of facing the final boss is when like when our mind is constantly saying to ourselves this is hard this is hard this is hard you know if, if we're in that state of this is hard this is hard we we aren't present with what we're with what we're facing at the moment and we have to be present and in the flow of what is going on so so be around people who who seek to improve and one quote i, I do want to leave is that drawing is is very simplistic however it gives the illusion of complexity and the illusion of complexity is what a lot of people fall for. So connect with other artists that are constantly improving and that may inspire you to, you know, improve as well to, you know, step your game up, you know, and it doesn't have to be a competition with the other person. The only person you should be competing with is who you were yesterday. How, how much more are you evolving from who you were yesterday? You know, so you want to constantly just keep on improving and evolving. Don't worry about you know not getting there so fast as the other person just make sure that you you are improving you know if you have any other questions feel free to leave so in the comments down below also check out the patreon and also my discord and that will be the video peace out also subscribe